Hello viewers. Today we're going to be repairing a Panasonic phone. I did a video on these telephones a few weeks ago and uh, one of my viewers wrote in and said that he's experienced the same issue. So I'm glad I'm not the only one that's being plagued with this bizarre phenomenon. But what's happened with this set is the cradle here got rust in it and you can see some of the residual rust in there. I did clean it before. Well, if you want to know about that you can watch the other video. But um, it's still not charging very well. So what needs to happen is I gotta get this cradle open and then I'm gonna try to clean the contacts because with the way it is it's not really easy or doable to clean the contacts with the telephone I mean with the <laughs> this shows my ability to multitask I can't even undo a cord and say a sentence uh, it's not easy to clean this with the way it's designed so I gotta take this apart in order to do that so just to demonstrate the problem here of course now it'll, it'll work but you can see that the charge light is very flickery and that indicates that this is not getting a good charge so um, I wonder if the other hand says like that too not so much so I'm thinking maybe it's more of an issue with the contacts on the handset but we're going to clean both of them so anyways let's um, get started here with the cradle it looks like this is not really made to come apart that easily but there is some, there's a seam here, so I'm guessing this can come apart. And then there appears to be some tabs. There appears to be four tabs there. So what I'm going to try to do is, well, this not even budging. Okay. Are those actually tabs or not? Well, it's looking like those are not what I thought they were. Uh, I don't think upon further investigation that that has much to do with the way it's being held in place. So it looks like the only way to get this open is just going to be to force it open somehow. and. Um, that's not something I would normally do, but um, in this particular case, it doesn't really matter if it gets a little bit banged up because um, the person that uses these phones is not going to be concerned about it. So, um, let's see. Well, it's not even starting to, to come apart. Oh, are these tabs? Ha! Huh. Okay, so uh, I stand corrected. These actually aren't that hard to open at all. And I also stand corrected about those things being tabs. They were tabs. Okay, well that's interesting. So, um, okay, that went uh, surprisingly well. So now we can get access to the charge contacts and what I want to do here is because right here and here is it's the part that actually meets the telephone when it sits on the cradle. So I'm going to pull this out and now I have access to this, this right here and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more hopefully it won't get blurry on me. Got blurry. Is this just too close or is it just being a pain in the rear? I think it's just being a nuisance. So, anyways, I can kind of see, I'm not sure if it'll show up on the video, but I can kind of see that there is a little bit of a rust, a rust stain on the, the contact where it hits the phone. So I've got some uh, 
some of this cleaner. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it because it just causes a fiasco in the comments section. So um, I've got that and that's what we're going to clean it with. I'm going to get a piece of cloth here. That's the first time these scissors have actually worked correctly. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to take some of this stuff and I'm going to use this to clean the contact. And this should get rid of any rust or what have you that is on here, which is preventing this from making a good charge. Okay, so now I'm going to put this back on. And we'll do the other side. And if this doesn't work, I have one other possible way of fixing this problem. Now you can see that the, the charge light is not flickering at all anymore. So so that would lead me to believe that this problem has been resolved. So let's put some batteries in here. Get in here. with that. This is showing absolutely no signs of not making the connection. You can see the, the charge light is on steady, which means uh, it's making good contact. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up the other uh, contacts on the other handset, although this other handset didn't have any problems. And um, These contacts don't look like they're dirty at all, so we'll just clean it from the outside and although that's not super effective, it should be sufficient in this case because there's really nothing to be cleaned off anyways. So we'll power up this base and then we'll check and make sure this other one is charging correctly as well.
get some batteries in there. Looks like this one is working fine as well. like that's been repaired. This is working flawlessly. So I'll put this back into service. It's definitely working for now. My only concern is because I don't know what caused that to happen. Who's to say it's not to happen again? So it's working for now. I'm going to charge these up tonight, put them back into service tomorrow morning. I'll just have to keep an eye on it, see what happens.